In this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer crypto assets off the week's crypto exchange to another exchange or wallet address. This video is not financial advice and is for educational purposes only. Let's get into the video. To transfer your crypto assets off of the week's platform to another exchange or wallet address, you'll first need to make sure that your crypto is in your spot wallet. So if your crypto is in your futures account, you'll first need to internally transfer it from your futures account and into your spot account. To get this done, we'll come up here to the profile icon and you can use the transfer button right here, but you can also find a transfer button on your assets overview page. To get there, you just click on your balance and right over here, you'll find a transfer button as well. So we'll just go ahead and give that a click. Next, we'll need to click right here and then select your futures account that your assets are in. Mine are in futures pro, so I'll click right here. Then we'll need to click here and set this to spot. Now we're ready to transfer assets out of our futures account and into the spot account. You'll be able to see your available balance right here. So you can transfer a custom amount if you wish, but if you want to transfer all of it, just click here on all, then click on confirm and transfer successful. So if we come over here in the left hand side and click on assets overview, make sure we're set to spot account. And here you can see the tether that I just transferred from my futures account and into the spot account. And there's no fees to get that done. That's simply an internal transfer on the platform between your accounts. The next thing you'll need to do is set up a fund password. And this is an extra layer of security when you're making a withdrawal. And this is a mandatory step when withdrawing your assets off of the week's platform. So if you haven't set up a fund code just yet, come right up here to your profile icon, then click right here on security. Here on your security settings page, you'll find your fund code right here. Simply come over here on the right hand side and click on configure. Now come up with a six digit pin code that you can set as your fund code, then confirm it, then click on submit. Then you'll need to do a quick security verification by sending a verification email to the email address that you used when creating your account. To get that, just simply click right here on send. Once that email arrives, retrieve the verification code inside that email type it into this box here, then click on confirm. Now the fund code is set and I'm ready to withdraw my tether off of the week's platform to another exchange or wallet address. So to get this done, I'm gonna come up here to the profile icon. And I'll just go ahead and click on withdraw right here in this drop down menu. And this will bring you over to the crypto withdrawal form. So the first thing we need to do is choose the token that we wish to withdraw off the platform by clicking in this box here, then selecting it from this drop down menu, or you can search for it in the search bar. I can see Tether right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and give that a click. Next, you'll need to select a network that you wish to use to complete this withdrawal. And of course, some of these networks are faster and less in fees than others. But the main thing is to make sure that you match the network on both sides of this transaction. So wherever you're sending your crypto to, whether it's another exchange or to a wallet address, just make sure that it supports that network that you wish to use and that you select that network and match it to the network that you're using here on the week's platform. You don't want to send from one network and into another or you will lose your crypto. So for this demonstration, I'll go ahead and use the BEP20 BSC, which is the Binance Smart Chain. Now I need to put in a withdrawal address and this is going to be the deposit address of the destination that I'm sending my tether to. And for the simplicity of demonstration, I'll send this tether from the week's exchange over to another crypto exchange called Femix. I'll quickly bring Femix into frame. Now that I'm on Femix, I need to retrieve my Tether deposit address for the Binance Smart Chain. And what I'm looking for is the crypto deposit form. So I can click on deposit here, but I can also see a deposit option top right hand side of the page. And from here, I'm going to select on chain deposit because I'm withdrawing the assets off of weeks over the blockchain to Femix, the Binance Smart Chain to be specific. Now I'm on the crypto deposit form. So now I need to choose the correct crypto, which is already set to Tether, so that looks good. But if I was sending a different crypto, I'd click right here and then select it from this drop down menu or search for it in the search bar. Now I need to select the correct network. Now I can see the Binance Smart Chain right here, BSC Bet20. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. So now that I've selected the correct crypto, the correct network, Femix is now generating a deposit address for Tether on the Binance Smart Chain, which I can see down below here. Now I'm just going to simply click right here on copy to copy my deposit address. Now I'll bring the week's exchange back into frame. So now that I have my Femix deposit address for Tether on the Binance Smart Chain, I'm going to paste it into this box right here. 
Now I can choose how much tether I wish to withdraw. You'll be able to see your available balance right here. So if you want to withdraw a custom amount, you could type it in. Or if you want to withdraw all of it, just come over here and click on all. Then click on submit. Next, we'll need to do our security verification. So you're going to have to request a verification code to the email that you used when creating your account. And to get that, you just click right here on send. And you're also going to have to put in your fund code that you came up with earlier in this tutorial. Once you put in your security verification codes, just simply click on confirm. So now my withdrawal has been submitted and soon that tether will be on its way from the Weeks exchange and over to the Femix crypto exchange. Now, a quick tip with this, if it's your first time withdrawing assets off the Weeks platform and sending them to a different exchange or wallet address, just send a small amount first. Once the smaller amount arrives as you intended, then you can have the confidence to send a larger amount. To view your withdrawal status, you can just simply click right here. And if we scroll down to the bottom here, you can see your withdrawal history down here. And in my case, the status has succeeded. So this is on its way to Femix. So I'll bring Femix into frame. And if you look all the way down here at the bottom under recent history, you can see that this tether has arrived and it's currently getting a security check on the platform. So soon this tether is going to be available to me on the Femix crypto exchange. And that's how you can withdraw your crypto assets off of the Weeks platform. And there you have it. That's how you can transfer crypto assets off of the Weeks platform to another exchange. If you got some value out of that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Also, feel free to check out my other Weeks tutorials, which I've put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.